Hey everybody, what's going on? We are gaming it out. We're back with Phoenix Hope, and today we're going to be starting a new world. We got wiped out on day 21 last time, so we're going to start up a new one and see if we can't do a little bit better. Now, I can't remember if I played the tutorial last time. Time, I feel like certainly I would have, but I don't recall. I don't remember it. I don't remember the tutorial, and I'm wondering if there's anything useful in there. So I think I'm going to leave that checked, and maybe we'll do the tutorial again. Um, and if it's too familiar, if, if, if I realize we did do it and there's nothing beneficial in it, I will, I'll just cut it out. How about that? It would be cool if you'd let me skip this, though, because this I believe we have done before. And I, uh, I don't want to do this part again, so, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, WASD, move the camera, I got it. Get him, get him. Indeed we are. Indeed we are safer together. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, welcome to Phoenix Hope tutorial, but understand. First thing you need wood. I think I did do this then. We'll see, if it's, if it's like, if it's not super time consuming, we'll leave it in, whatever. It's a new world, you know? Lumberjack, Lumberjack. Put it right there. Where did all these resources go? Is this what, did I start with these last time? Yeah, okay. So we're building a Lumberjack, nice. The mine, we're gonna wanna repair at some point. I know that that was part of our Beginnings. So we'll assign a couple of lumberjacks. Now we know what come back to the campfire at night means. We definitely come in here much better informed than we were prior. <clears throat> I'm feeling optimistic. I'm feeling optimistic about this one. I would like you to hurry up and finish building that though, if you could. It's funny that the lumberjack thing that's made entirely out of wood requires stone only. Not complaining necessarily, but like, you know, found a couple of axes and pickaxes. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Spearman. Dope. Perfect. So we'll have our lumberjacks getting us wood. We will need a farm soon, but I, I don't reckon that needs to happen right this second. What I would like to go ahead and wait, lumberjack began getting wood. You may want to upgrade the main building to a stronghold. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. That's what it wants us to do. Upgrade. We'll add another worker. I don't have another worker yet. That's fine. We'll get away with having one worker. Now, I think while it's doing that, I'm going to start getting defenses set up. We'll set us a few spikes out here. Just three on each side. The first couple nights are not so bad. Okay. So yeah, this tutorial thing, I think we, these are all things we would just be doing anyway, so I'm not going to bother cutting it out. I couldn't remember if it was its own individual bit of gameplay or if it just guided you through the beginning of a new world, which is kind of what it's doing, so that's fine. We can leave that in. It's not a big deal. All right. Got some workers rolling, which is good. We need to go ahead and get those spikes built and stuff. Build walls within the hope zone to the left and right of the main building. Yes, indeed. But I think on the border is the way to go. Because if we build walls inside, all we're doing is taking up space for buildings that we do need in here. We need something useful that's small enough to fit in here, but I don't know what that would be. 
I really wish the smithy or something would fit in there. That's really a bummer. Yeah, and like at a certain point, we're gonna start needing houses. Like, like where? Where is there gonna be room for that? We do have two two lumberjacks, right? Um, now that you have walls, need to protect them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Put one here. And we'll put a spearman there. And we'll do another one. And put a spearman there. Ready to get to your first night? You can also build spikes already already ahead of you. If you need other hints, take a look at the journal. It was like, oh, okay, maybe we'll do that. The game is saved automatically, but only during the day. Now we need to repair the mine. Which is just 50 wood. Okay. All right, so we'll get through our first night pretty handily. We'll get through our first few nights pretty handily, actually. We are maxed out on workers, correct? Okay. So 50 wood to upgrade the mine. We'll do that soon. Tomorrow, we need to go ahead and get a farm going, I would imagine. I think a farm's going to be pretty important. And then, I think it's probably not a bad idea to get a smithy going so that we can start getting pickaxes and stuff made so we can have our mine rocking. And beyond that... Yeah, this I'm not understanding the point of yet either. Like, why not just come back to the campfire at night, you know? Okay. It's going to take them a while to get there. I wish I could remember what night the flying thing started showing up. I know that we just need to be in the process of getting prepared to deal with flying things. We need to have archer towers... We need we need four archers relatively soon. That's gonna be our best defense, I think. And it might not even be a bad idea to like double up on archer towers at, at, at some point. I wonder if you upgrade archer towers to a certain point if they hold more archers. Yeah. You done. You done Zo. How much is the farm? 30 and 30? Okay. Yeah, we need to get this mine 50 wood. Hopefully tomorrow they gather enough wood and we won't need to do too many repairs. We can get the mine open so that we can start getting stone as well. And we have we have two pickaxes so we can we can put two miners straight out of the gate. That'll be good. Easy work. Easy work. So most of this stuff to upgrade is going to require research, which I'm assuming is this. Which we could have... We were ready to build in the last world, but um, we also we're not quite ready to build in the last world, if that makes sense. I have to figure I, I feel like there's 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 a level of inefficiency involved with me like pushing the wall out every time. But the problem is as the bubble expands, I need the space inside the bubble, which is why I continue to do that. Maybe we do spikes further out. And that way we don't have to keep like dismantling and moving spikes as well. Maybe we do spikes further out, and then we just have to bump the wall out every day. Or every time the bubble expands, you know what I mean? Like, maybe that's the move. 
So we'll dismantle these. Maybe that'll be one measure of efficiency we can implement there. Now we need our lumberjacks going ham. We're going to hold off on upgrading these things. We're going to let the walls just chill. They, they, I believe they got repaired overnight anyway, so we're going to let that chill where they are. I think a farm is the next thing we need to focus on building. A farm and then the mine. So once we get to 30 and 30, that's the next thing we do. So it looks like today, it looks like today we'll get the farm and then hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get the mine, right? So I think the farm is still going to go over here. I think we're going to have a similar start over here. But then it'll be different different decisions that we make. We might even be able to avoid the spikes altogether for now. Farm. <clears throat> yeah, also I gotta figure out what this is about. Like why why is this different than this? I'm not understanding that. That that's confusing me a bit. I don't get this. Like, does it, is it just a, a, a bigger chunk of wood or something? Like, I don't really understand what the point in that is. Two lumberjacks, still maxed on workers. We're in good shape. We may get enough wood by the end of the day, actually, to... to, to to begin initiation of the mine repair, which would be good. We have two settlers not doing anything, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. Why, I don't know. Hey, my man, hurry up and cut that tree down and go over here and do this. You know what I'm saying? Can you do that for me? Don't we have a swordsman? I think we'll let him chill, though, because when I put him in a wall, he doesn't do anything anyway. Still haven't really figured out what the point in them is. Let's just put them outside the wall, but then they're just begging to get scooped up by the flying thing or, or killed by one of the giant ones, you know? All right, you guys are heading over there to do that. Almost nighttime again. Night two should be fairly easy as well. We're not even going to bother with the spikes. I think our, our dudes can hold them off. Between the guys repairing the walls for them while they fight and them fighting, we should be fine. Oh, you're, you, you're going to do your own thing. You're not going to help him do that? Okay, cool. What is, he, is, he like, is, he, is, he, is he a dick or something? Like, I don't get it. Why don't you want to work together with him? Nope, keep it going. Hey, turn your ass around and keep it going. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're about to repair this mine. I think we'll still accumulate wood fast enough for them to keep up with repairs on the wall. I'm not really sweating that too much, to be honest. I think, I think we'll still be okay. We do need... Oh, I need a scythe. Oh, so yeah, so then we do need the smithy. Um, the smithy needs to be a thing that happens, so... Shoot, maybe maybe we... Can we make a scythe without stuff from the mine, though? You know what I'm saying? Or can we... Yeah, can we make a smythe with it? A smythe? A scythe without stuff from the mine. So 40 and 40, okay. So maybe tomorrow... I don't know if we'll have 40 stone by then. Maybe once the mine gets open. I think that, I think that is actually the reasonable progression. The mine gets open because we already have two pickaxes. So the mine gets done. We send our miners down. 
Then I think we make a smithy next so that we can start making tools and then we can get our farm operational. But it's nice that we go ahead, that we have the farm ready. I think I'm still I'm still comfortable with that, I would say. New goal. How do I see it? In order, all right, yeah. Did we read all this last time? Thickets and unoccupied, yeah, but like why? that That's the question that I have that you're not answering me is why. Hope zone grows a bit, okay. Encounters, yeah, I think we did read all this. We do need, we need to really commit these hotkeys to memory. That would probably be really efficient. All right, so the bubble's expanded a bit. He's still working on the thicket, which is all good. The mine is done. We can go ahead and... Wait, we, we don't have... Okay, well, one miner it is for now, I guess. And we'll send you... We'll just send you this way. That's one thing we, we know a lot sooner this time is guiding our miners to do things. I think last time we, they were just kind of sitting there chilling for a bit before we figured that out. So I think this time it'll be nice that we know that. Once we get another settler, we can have another miner. Soon we'll get our smithy made so we can start making tools. We'll focus a scythe first to get at least one farmer going. And then we will see how we're feeling. Ooh, we are going to run out of wood. Interesting. And there's a portal right there. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Mmm, it's going to be interesting. Not so bad. Over here. Both portals were pretty close tonight. We're still going to be good, though. I wonder how big this bubble can get. I wonder if there's like a max size to the bubble. I'm also wondering what happens when we upgrade this. Is it just more workers or like, you know what I mean? How much good does it do us to upgrade that? More workers would be really handy. That would have helped us a lot actually in the last playthrough. We were trying, just being able to do more things at once would be really nice. Because a lot of the processes are slow, man. Making armor and making... Even with two, it's it's slow. Slow going. More people came. All right, cool. Let's get another miner then. Wait. So did they or didn't they? You know? Oh, I just need more wood. That's the reason I couldn't get another miner down there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, we'll repair you and actually <clears throat> we'll demolish and go ahead and bump them out. Like I said, we need every little bit of space we can get. So let's get going. Why do I feel like I'm losing my voice? What is going on? <clears throat> it's been like this all morning. There's like zero pain. It's not like I have a sore throat. My voice is just going. So there's that. We can get our another, another... Oh, almost. Hey, you know, there are two of you lumberjacks. I feel like you should be able to to outgain these guys' use, usage of just building these walls, you know? That is a thing that I feel like should be the case. But I'll be damned if you're if you're not doing it, you know. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good.
more settlers coming in. That's nice. All right, how you doing down here? You down here working? I dig it, man. I dig it. Okay, so there's that. Now, as soon as we get to 10 wood, we can get another miner. Which maybe we don't need right now. We do have a second pickaxe, but maybe we don't need the second miner just yet. Maybe we can do something a little bit more efficient. Like, maybe we can actually... Think about... Getting a smithy. <clears throat> 40 and 40. Yeah, I think we let resources stack just a bit here. I don't know what good clearing out the thicket did. I have no idea what that does for us. But we did it, so there you go. Hey, stop looking around and go chop trees. We're pressed for time here, bro. Things get out of hand real quick. I think not doing the soul collector as early, but here's it, it requires so little. That's the thing. But we don't need it yet. We don't need it until we're we're even thinking about building the scientist lab. So like the 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 the, the scouts hideout, perhaps, which we can't build yet, and I'm not sure why. But I can't remember what we did. All right. Once you finish that, I want you to keep going this way. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna hang on to our resources and then as the night goes on, maybe then we'll, we'll initiate uh, Smithy. Because I do think that's the next thing. That needs to happen. I still think our defenses are fine. I don't think our wall's gonna get taken down the night or anything. Actually, we could probably go ahead and start building it now. We're going to put it right up to the mine here. Because, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well right now on wood. Doing pretty good on wood. Either way, you know what I mean. We're doing pretty well in our efforts. Is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I think we'll just run a line of spikes out here or something. And that, that'll leave us room to just keep bumping our wall out. Because part, part of me had an idea initially about like leaving this wall here and then as the bubble expands, just, just like building more. But what that's doing is taking up space in here for things that I need to keep safe, right? Which it might not sound like much, but if the bubble keeps growing and I build a new wall every few days, that's that's going to just be a lot of space I can't use, right? A lot of dead space. So I think I think we're on to something there. <clears throat> you did make it. I'm proud of you. 
Alright, we need to craft a scythe. And then we need to start thinking about crafting some bows. We need to start getting ready to have some archers. That's going to be important. Will it, would a house fit in here? I, uh, it's going to be a while before we need a house. I just am curious if a house would fit. No, it won't. Nothing fit. This this drives me nuts. Then this drives me insane. Unless unless what they did was just leave room, like maybe as the stronghold gets upgraded, it it, it branches out more in this direction, and that's what this space is going to be for. But like, it really drives me nuts that we're in this little bubble and they've eaten up so much space. They could slide the mine over and we, we'd have we'd have so much more room. As the bubble expanded, but th this 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 is that dead space I was talking about. Where like if we did the walls periodically, this is space, several squares that are doing me no good. Again, unless the stronghold just upgrades into that space, which then it's you know fine. Dang, bro, a little heavy over here tonight. Nice. All right, don't repair that. Destroy it. We're pushing the walls out more. Nope. Stop. Pushing them out, pushing them out. Let's get another miner rocking. Let's get... You know what, too? Let's actually do the wall here. I think that'll be okay. I think slightly outside of the bubble is fine. I don't think a portal's gonna spawn here, you know what I mean? Like, maybe here, if there wasn't a wall, but like, not here. I don't think. I guess we'll find out. Alright, what else can we have you guys make? Um... I reckon in the meantime, we don't need two of you. And you can go here. And you can go here. We have a scythe, so let's get a farmer. We've got our second miner. Um, so why don't we have you just head down? Kind of pick up where we left off last time. Now. We, we do, like I said, we want to start thinking about getting archers, so... Twenty and fifty. Alright, it's gonna be a second before we can get started on that. But we do want to get started on that. And actually, I think this is probably a pretty good place to wrap this one up. Next episode, we're, we're gonna just continue... Trying to be efficient with what we're doing. Soon, so far we've been okay without worrying about the spikes. I'm not going to worry about the spikes for just a little bit longer, I think. We're just going to keep bumping our walls out as our, as our bubble gets bigger. Uh, I, think that, I think I do need to start focusing a little bit on getting archers. I would like to have two archers ready. And start having archer towers that I also bump out. And then maybe... At a certain point, since we've got a lot of people do not doing anything, maybe we do need to do a scout's hideout, start working on missions around the base so that maybe we can unlock this, you know, start thinking about things we want to unlock and moving forward. I want to see what happens when we upgrade the stronghold and upgrade some of these other buildings. So we're going to need scientist lab for all that. So hopefully we're in a situation where we don't have to keep destroying things and moving them around. We're just going to keep building outward from the inside building what we have room to build as it grows, bumping our defenses out a bit, and then as we, as we start to feel a need, we'll start doing spikes and things out here and see if that's not a, a bit of a more efficient way to go about doing things. So that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm excited to keep this one going. We'll see you in the next one.